Good morning and happy Sunday fun day, Eastern North Carolina. We have made it to my favorite day of the week, and I am so happy that even though there is a weather alert day in effect, we are seeing a gorgeous sunrise to kick off this day. Aren't you loving it? That big, bright and beautiful ball of sun making it a golden start to this day, and I hope you have the chance to peek outside and enjoy some more dry conditions. It is still a warm start to the day. Nothing really has changed starting off the mornings. Temperature is still in the high 70s, low 80s, 81 degrees in Beaufort. It is probably like a sauna down there because dew points not far behind. You feel that moisture in the air. Only an indication of how much rain can fall by later this afternoon and evening. At least this morning, we're starting off mostly clear, but you see a few storms beginning to pop up along the Virginia border, and they most likely are going to trickle down by later this afternoon and evening. If we take a step back, take a look at our tropical update for today. There is a lot going on in the tropics, and I want to try to break it down for you as best I can. Tropical Storm Grace is currently affecting the Leeward Islands right now, and it's looking to push towards the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico by later today. The good news for that is it seems like it's tracking much to the south of us for it to be affecting us at least directly. The remnants of Fred are expected to re-strengthen into tropical storm strength by this afternoon hours and then most likely going to be making landfall near Alabama by later Monday. There is another disturbance just off the coast of our just off the east coast that has around a 20% chance of formation. We'll continue to monitor it very closely, but luckily a high pressure system just closer to us is protecting us from that tropical action. Fred looks like I said it was pushing towards Alabama and where it goes after that it most likely is going to unravel unwrap and then affect us possibly bring us some tornado potential by the time that you head out Monday evening and into Tuesday. This is the most uh, up to date track of grace. Like I said, it seems like it will stay well to the south of us at least until the later parts of the work week where it goes from there is exactly uncertain, but it is looking like it's not going to be making landfall along the east coast, which is very good news for us, but we will still continue to monitor all of these systems very closely. If anything else does form, it will be named on now what we have to see in the next few days that will be affecting us is a slow moving cold front, the remnants of Fred and then a big question mark on grace for that cold front that will be affecting us later this afternoon and evening slowly approaching but mixing with that high pressure system offshore that's bringing in a lot of tropical air, a lot of tropical moisture. It's really not going to take a lot of energy for a thunderstorm to pop up this afternoon and that's exactly what's going to happen. Mostly scattered in nature and then becoming a bit more widespread by those later evening hours and any one of these little systems have the potential to become severe. I'm mainly concerned about heavy, heavy rain, leading the possibility of pounding on road and even some flooding and then mostly clear conditions to start off the day Monday. But still, you are seeing that cold front affecting us. It, like I said, doesn't take much to drop a thunderstorm on us. However, by the time that you head out Monday evening and into Tuesday, Fred will be making its way closer to Alabama and unraveling. And as it does, it's going to be bringing us the possibility of some severe weather. Any one of these little systems have that tornado potential, so we will main, remain weather aware and closely monitor Fred as it continues to push north after it makes landfall near Alabama and possibly affecting us by the time that you head out Tuesday. And you can always download our Storm Team 9 app today to keep up to date on your full forecast because there is a lot going on. Highs for today will be a few degrees cooler than yesterday in the high 80s, uh, peaking near 90 degrees. Showers and thunderstorms popping up by the afternoon and evening hours, but before then, partly sunny skies. If you are making today a beach day, not a bad day for it, although those showers will begin to pop up along those coastal regions before they push inland by the afternoon. A low rip current risk means a not a bad day to dip your toes in the water. Heading into tonight, temperatures dipping down to the mid to lower 70s, mostly cloudy and showers and thunderstorms should linger around throughout those earlier evening hours and then most likely dissipating by overnight. Still most likely going to see a few scattered showers on Monday and then Fred remnants will be affecting us possibly by Tuesday and bringing us even more chances for severe weather. So make sure you remain a weather away where not just this week, even though there is a lot going on, hurricane season is now in full swing and I can guarantee that we will continue tracking storms at least through September. But don't forget, Amber, hurricane season doesn't officially end until November 30th.